September 2016, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get rid of scrap poster board. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to show you how to make a killer computer cosplay. But really, the emphasis is on the poster board. For this build, you'll need a saw, clamps, a wide angle lens, black ABS plastic, label paper, foam core poster board, L wire, or something else orange and glowy, a blank Christmas ornament, which you can find in most hobby stores, silver paint, black paint, hot glue, a rotary tool, scissors, razor pans, or Valerian steel. Today I'm making one of my favorite killer robots that most of my audience will probably mistake for the villain in Portal. Oh yeah, Gladys is so scary. I had nightmares about that rectangle. So first cut the black rectangle out of a sheet of ABS that I just so happen to have, and I'm sure everyone else also has too. I, I literally just used this because it was solid and shiny. It's four and a half by 13 and three quarters. You know what? I'm gonna link in the description to all the dimensions that I used. So a lot of times when you cut plastic with a jigsaw or a table saw, the plastic will melt as you cut it and then re-harden as it cools down behind the saw blade. So I had to clean up the edges a lot. Also, I had to clean up my apartment a lot because this stuff got everywhere. Next, I used a whole saw for exactly what you're supposed to use a whole saw for. Go figure. Do you see what I'm talking about with the messes that this creates? Yeah, you get it. I made the aluminum frame out of scrap plastic, then I made the lens out of an old fisheye lens attachment and a Christmas ornament. See, this is hell vision. So now we're starting to deviate from screen accuracy here, but the lens they used in the movie is from a super expensive old camera that I have yet to track down. Although, given my past experience tracking down rare prop parts, I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Hashtag double graph flex. Make sure all the pieces are secure as they dry. Do a couple of test prints of the logo on regular paper before you go ahead and do that on the label paper, just so that you're not wasting paper. When you find the size that you like, print it on the label paper, cut it up, and very carefully put it in place. All right, now let's cut up some foam core. So this is just a box that's gonna fit over my head. If you're making this for a wall mount, then just chill for 30 seconds or whatever the time lapse turns out to be. Since most fisheye lens options are gonna stick out the back like that, I'd recommend using a picture frame. Just give you the extra space out from your wall. But if you're doing the cosplay route, then reinforce the hell out of it. I used all sorts of little scrap puzzle pieces I wonder where they came from. Pay no attention to the battle droid in the background. Cut a hole in the faceplate that the lens will fit through and then glue it to the poster board. Also, while it's drying, make sure it's weighted down with a deli meat container filled with vacuum tubes. That's super important. The whole thing will fall to pieces without that. You ever have those moments where you question your sanity? Yeah, me neither. The actual speaker plate is supposed to be a little metal plate with 22 by 18 little holes in it but I messed that up, so I just used some screen door mesh glued and silly lines. And then I tested out various lighting methods until I landed on L-Wire. Although to be fair, L-Tape might work a little bit better for this. There we go, look at that. Ain't that some? Now go murder a bunch of astronauts. Spoiler! Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then you might also enjoy these other builds. Links and annotations are cards if you're on a mobile device. And if you still don't know who Hal 9000 is, then there's a video that will explain it all in a way that's relevant to modern audiences. Link right up there in the top right Corner. Also, if you really like this video and want to support me, I have a Patreon link in the top left corner or below. Okay, that's everything. Jake out!